Okay, so this uh, last video, um, I talked about Kurt Busch and how his girlfriend was a trained assassin, supposedly. That's what he said anyway. And then he was born on Obama's birthday, and he was replaced by a Reagan. And his brother also got in a wreck in the beginning of the NASCAR season and couldn't race, and he was replaced by a Reagan. So literally the Bushes were replaced by Reagans. And, uh, I mean, his girlfriend was an assassin, and he's born on the same day as Obama. So, just kind of interesting. I've been talking about Obama being assassinated and whatnot. So, anyway, I just looked up the Ronald Reagan um, assassination attempt because, you know, if a Reagan replaces a Bush or whatever, I don't know. Just looked it up because it kind of fits with it, I guess. So, first thing I notice is that it happened in the year 1981, and... If you go back and watch two videos ago, and it, it's I'm going to make a playlist of this. This will be the third one. Um, I showed the significance of the 34 and the 81. Um, 34, 34 years ago was 1981, and also uh, 1934 was 81 years ago. And it all has to do with domestic violence, the Civil War. Um, just It's a story they've used or whatever for years, it looks like. Also says it was at 2.27 p.m. 2.27 is another interesting number I've been talking about since probably around Valentine's Day. It's the uh, 49th prime number is 227. 22 divided by 7 is 3.14 pi. It's also, when you convert it from Julian to Gregorian, it's the same as Valentine's Day. And I've talked about how a lot of this goes back to uh, Valentine's Day. And... For that matter, actually, now that I'm thinking about it, in the first video of this little thing I'm doing here, uh, so I talked about the Harbaugh's having to play each other in the Super Bowl with the blackout, and it was all about 34. But uh, Jim Harbaugh actually left coaching the San Francisco 49ers uh, this year or whatever to go coach the Michigan Wolverines. Interesting, because Lupercalia is all about the wolf and whatnot. So, and I've talked. And Wolf Lupercalia is a three-day festival starting the day before Valentine's Day, and then it goes until the day after. And uh, so, I mean, I've talked about how tons of things lead back to Lupercalia this year. And then he leaves the 49ers. We've talked about San Francisco extensively, and the Pope and whatnot. And he goes to coach the Wolverines. And Michigan in general is just kind of interesting because it's on 44 degrees north. And I've talked about that number in the previous videos as well. Obama's the 44th president. Um, tons of things. It also says that it became the 26th state. 26th state on the 26th day, even in 1837. And 2-6, uh, February 6th, is the 37th day of the year. I mean, these numbers go together like crazy. I've talked about that previously. I'm sorry, I'm not going to go into it. Otherwise, the videos are, like, just way too long. I mean, if you don't understand, I'm sorry, but go back and watch, like, my previous, like, 50 videos. Even uh, Michigan Wolverines adds up to 98, a number that we've talked about a lot with Philadelphia and um, tons of stuff. It actually comes up again later, so keep it in mind. And then Wolverines adds up to 52, which also comes up again later. Also talked about this extensively, dealing with the 923. Uh, 239 is the 50 second prime. I mean, there's so much stuff. Like I said, you have to go back and watch it to understand. But uh, also when I think of Wolverines, I think of this movie, Red Dawn. Um, like Patrick Swayze and all them, when the Soviets invade, they become like the, whatever it is, they form their little group, uh, and they're called the Wolverines. But I mean, look when this movie came out. August 10th, 1984, Obama, born on 8-4, August 10th is the 222nd day of the year, also talked about no, the number 222, um, the first day of Lupercalia to 923 is 222 days, uh, I mean, there's a ton of stuff with it, even 114 minutes running time, I mean, that's Egyptian Valentines and all kinds of stuff, so even Ronald Reagan, I mean, he was born on 2-6. And so I just said Michigan became, what, the 26th state on the 26th day of the year. And, I mean, wow. 
So whatever. Two six. Um, and this reminds me of I just looked up uh, the Bobby Kennedy assassination, and he died on June fifth. I'm actually going to talk about that in a different video, so I don't want to go that in depth with it. February 6th is also the day that Queen Elizabeth II became the queen in 1952. Uh, she was born in 1926. Um, anyway, let's look back at this assassination attempt. So this is the guy who um, supposedly did it or whatever was the one who tried to kill him. But I also want to put out the day that it happened, 33081, is also um, 21 years before Queen Elizabeth's mother died exactly to the day. So another interesting date, I guess, 330, they had to put the 33 in there. The Queen is also 89 years old this year, and 330 um, is the 89th day of the year. But uh, so he was like, whatever he didn't get the death penalty or whatever he was found not guilty by reason of insanity and they say public outcry over the verdict led to the insanity defense reform of 1984 go figure he also had a huge obsession with jody foster and jody foster is 52 years old like i said earlier uh was it what wolverines is 52 Tons of stuff with 52. It's just ridiculous. It says uh, he became obsessed with the film Taxi Driver, um, and then in which a disturbed protagonist, Travis Bickle, played by Robert De Niro, plots to assassinate a presidential candidate. And then, uh, yeah, he developed an infatuation with Jodie Foster, who played a child prostitute in the film. But, I mean, so look at the Taxi Driver here. You go here, and it says, The American Film Institute ranked Taxi Driver as the 52nd greatest American film on its AFI 100, whatever. I mean, give me a break. It, no way. Like, so Jodie Foster's 52 this year. This is the 52nd greatest film, supposedly. Even Robert, Robert De Niro here. He was born in 43. I've talked about the 43 and 34 stuff. So very interesting. So I figured up I figured I'd add up Robert De Niro and Jodie Foster, and uh, Robert De Niro, like I said, he was he is 71 years old, born in 43, um, 143. Seen it a lot. It's uh, the Hermes Trismegistus feast day. It's May 23rd, with with 222 days left until the end of the year. Also interesting, Jodie Foster, he was obsessed with her, in love with her and all that, and her name adds up to 54, and love also adds up to 54, so just kind of interesting. Anyway, what brought this to me, uh, I brought me to this, I guess, was because of Tom Brady and football and um, domestic violence, and I, I don't know why I thought of Tom Brady again, but uh, in this shooting or whatever, the most injured uh, person was James Brady. And uh, he died later, but look at look at this guy. So he died on August 4th, Obama's 53rd birthday in 2014. And then on 8-8 of 2014, they ruled it a homicide 33 years after the gunshot wound he received in 1981. So they said that he died because of that gunshot in 1981. But, uh, I mean, man, I talked about Tom Brady so much and I, um, with... Uh, Michael Jordan and the Super Bowl and everything, but check this out. If you add up James Brady, it's 98. If you add up Tom Brady, it's 98. If you add up Brady Bunch, it's 98. And, uh, I mean, Brady Bunch is totally significant to what they did because, um, I mean, they even had the Brady Bunch commercial. I think it was the Snickers commercial with uh, the googly-eyed guy from Mr. Deeds or whatever. can't think of his name right now. But, um... Yeah, interesting. They all add up to 98. And um, I talked about Tom Brady uh, sold his house to Dr. Dre. It was two days after Alice on the Brady Bunch died at the age of 88. But, uh, like, so his, his girlfriend's name or wife, his name is Giselle Bunchchin. So the Dr. Dre bought the Brady Bunchchin house. I mean, give me a break. And there was tons of stuff. I think Dr. Dre can't even remember it all. Dr. Dre added up to 49. 
or Dre Doctor, but yeah, Dr. Dre added up to 49. Even um, he was born on the 49th day, and he was 49 years old when he bought that house. Yep, so yeah, born on 49th day of the year, and then last year when he bought that house, he was 49 years old. I mean, and I talked about that oh, how long ago? It's just so craziness. And I guess uh, what I'm getting at is that the Brady Bunch is sort of like, you know, a division of, you know, it's not really north and south or black and white, but it's like the boys and the girls. Um, I just always thought of it that way. And it always seemed like that was the conflict or whatever, is the boys versus the girls. So just, they're I don't know, just showing a separation or whatever. But also, um, it, it came out on September 26th. That is the same day that the Pope is going to Philadelphia. But uh, there was also, so Tom Brady was 37 years old. And uh, if you go to the 37th episode of the Brady Bunch, it's literally called Confessions, Confessions. And I even watched it. It's about the middle kid. can't remember his name. I think it's Peter. He uh, He's playing ball in the house, and he breaks one of his mom's uh, vases. And then the, all the kids get in trouble, and he won't tell. He won't, he won't uh, confess that he did it. And, I mean, how ridiculous is that? Because that is... The whole thing about Tom Brady was about um, him not confessing about deflating the balls or whatever. You know what I mean? So he, on this episode, I mean, it totally foreshadows it. It's just so ridiculous. But uh, I want to look at Alice, too, here. The lady who plays Alice was Ann B. Davis. And uh, she was born on 5-5 of 1926. Died at the age of 88 on 6-1 or 61. And honestly, I don't even know where I'm going with this. Um, I just wanted to bring back up some old information just to show how all these stories just, they all fit together. It's, I mean, it's crazy how it all works. I mean, she even she even uh, moved to Erie in northwestern Pennsylvania and graduated high school. So Pennsylvania, and then she went to the University of Michigan and graduated there. So, And also... She was going to be pre-medical, but changed her mind when she seen her older brother's performance of Oklahoma. And um, Oklahoma is where John Hinckley Jr. was from. So, I don't know. Weird. She's also, when she died, it took the Brady Bunch from 9 to 8, 98. And also, Tom Brady went to the University of Michigan. And he was born on August 3rd, one day off. So... Interesting, I talked about the day before in the previous videos, but, um, like, I don't even know. I just feel like they're, they want you to know about Brady, and he's been in the news like crazy. Him and, him and Michael Jordan have been huge in the media. Um, I mean, they even played basketball together, and, like, I can't even remember where it was. Uh, they both went to, like, the, the Mayweather fight, and they, they followed the Patriots around, and, Michael Jordan stopped a fight there in the parking lot and whatever. But uh, from August 4th of last year, when James Brady died, to the day the Super Bowl was, it's 181 days. And uh, remember, he got shot in 1981. So interesting, I guess. And that also means that this year was the 34th um, anniversary of the assassination attempt on Ronald Reagan. So kind of weird. Another interesting thing is that Tom Brady, actually, the only reason that he wasn't originally the starter or anything, but Drew Bledsoe got hurt in his second season, and it was during the second game of the 2001 season, and so Tom Brady, he got, Drew Bledsoe got hurt on the home opener September 23rd, and uh, he got hurt, and then Tom Brady got to go in, and he was the starter for the rest of the year. Very interesting, so September 23rd was the the uh, game that basically when he started his um, reign or whatever. Like I said, I just wanted to show some stuff. Um, but I'm going to end this video. Like, Check out the full Snickers commercial that was on during the Super Bowl at halftime. Did you catch it? He stopped at 106 of his hair. 106. Big number we've been talking about for how long? 106, and then he yells, shut up, mom. Very interesting. Anyway, 
leave it at that. Like I said, very random video. Have a great one.